I'm going to give you a brief yet helpful explanation about the difference between prim and mesh hair, as well as similar other sorts of stuff, like sometimes it applies to skirts. First of all, you can tell if something is made out of prims if it's an attachment, and that's determined if you right-click it and you see edit. See, edit, and you can drop and detach it. You can't do that if it's your actual avatar mesh. If I right-click, notice that doesn't come up. So this clearly here is prim hair. I can reposition it if I so desire, like that and like that. And this means now that I have a bald head. That's because I would normally, if I was new to Second Life, have a head of mesh hair. If you go into appearance here, and by the way, a big reason why a lot of people prefer prim hair is because it's a lot more stylable, it's a lot more customizable, and a lot more pretty in many cases. If I was to go to hair here, you would notice that if I change the style and I change the volume, then often it ends up being very bouffant and clownish and difficult to get under control and match the rest of your avatar. And surprisingly, in many cases, prims, these attachments, which can be attached to like 30 places in your body, including your head, just are a lot more convincing. So I want to revert that. That was a bad change, and I'll close that. But that would easily show you. Sometimes it's done for skirts, too. This is a mesh skirt, but there's also flexi-prim skirts. And when in doubt, ask a store vendor or a more experienced resident, and they'll be happy to explain the difference. Because, hey, who doesn't want to look good? I know you do in Second Life. 